We are just seconds away now from Puck. tonight. play and that knocks the puck off his stick and he takes the feed oh my you can feel that from here well that has to hurt and he's getting up slowly the whole body rattles when you get hit like that plenty of playing 
time left in this frame. Winnipeg's up one set. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Directed over to Di Giuseppe. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's a short pass to Lowry. Takes the feed. Gets the puck in deep. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Sends the pass over. On man rush. Takes the shot. And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the glove. The Jets played along the way. Drills him. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Off the crossbar. Winnipeg's trying to push the play and extend their lead here, but they're unable to do it. Puck puck doesn't go their way, and they hit the frame and out. the midway mark of the frame. The Jets have taken a 1-0 lead. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. Poked away in the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Quick pass to Hughes. He carries the puck up along the wing. A chance from along the wall! And he had the answer on that play. Passes the puck over to Iafalo. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Quick shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Grabbed along the board by Niederreiter. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gains the zone on the left wing. From point blank! Stick save and a beaut by Hillebuck. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. The setters will glide into the dot. Patterson's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Late goings of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Resumes as the puck is dropped. Quick feed to Susie. Broken up by Morrissey. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. And now he angles it across to Connor. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. From the neutral zone now. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle.
the Canucks have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Perfetti's gained possession inside the neutral zone. The Canucks get a hold of it. And that's a great hits up play by Nemestikov. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Jets have it against the wall. Winnipeg's looking to break out. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Taken by Lafferty. That's a solid check on the play. Works it across to Perfetti. Now a quick pass to Fiala. Oh. And that's intercepted by Lafferty. The Canucks are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Jets need to make better decisions with the puck if they want to get back into this game. I mean, they're trailing just because they haven't been able to manage it. And that's blocked away. Find some space in the corner. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. He got all of that hit. And look at this. They've turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Steps inside. Moves it to Hughes. Centering feed. Picked up along the boards by Morrissey. Handles the pass at center. Shot! Oh, what a chance there! Well, it almost looked like he converted a quick release shot. He had no time or space, but unable to put it by. Here's a short pass to Miller. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit! Stopped by the goaltender. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Misses. Well, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck, and that one sails right over the net. Moves it quickly over to Kuzmenko. Winnipeg's got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Ayafalo. Niederreiter's got the puck. Receives the pass. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. There's no question the goaltenders know who the shooters are in the league and what style of shot they take, and he's able to get a perfect Scores! And look who's on it again. They are really turning up the heat. Uh, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free because you're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net, and of course, retrieve it. We don't get many odd man rushes throughout the game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Canucks look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice. And then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. Handles the pass. A difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. And that's intercepted by Perfetti. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. The Canucks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Winnipeg's got the win off that draw. Tries to get the puck over to Nemestikov. The Jets carry it along the wall. And he makes the save. exactly what
what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face-off and lead the charge. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. Cole's got the puck in his own zone. With possession along the wall. There's a shot! Vancouver's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. They put the puck into the offensive end. And he takes the feed. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. To the low slot! The Jets are looking for some much-needed offense, and they get it. They get a great look, and it just goes off the post. You can see the frustration in the entire bench. You have to capitalize if they want to way back in this game. Ehlers looks around. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Passes over to Shifley. Quick pass to Ehlers. Slick feed. No room for that one to get through. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Angles it over to Hughes. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Ayafalo's got it along the wing. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Ayafalo. Puck gets loose, we'll get some flow again here. Stops him cold. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Quick feed to Ayafalo. Shot! Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Hughes has the puck inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Morrissey's lugging the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the score! Well, talk about a friendly pig right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. But your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Vancouver's looking to carry this sizable lead here into the second intermission. They have been the dominant club tonight. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Zadorov. exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. The Jets finally get some momentum going their way now. Can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back-to-back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Besser stick handling in his own zone. What a steal in his own end. Puck scooped up. how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Let's it fly. And he comes up with a stop there. The Canucks continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. And off the draw, they win possession. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! I love the way the 
shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James, as the puck's below the goal line. You can see him moving to make himself available. And right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. Winnipeg's not out of the woods just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a goal. Nice job tying up his opponent. Taken along the wall by Cole. Moves it to Hoaglander. Poked away in the neutral zone. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Here's a short pass to Barron. And now it's taken by Chisholm. That opportunity is rejected. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. They're underway here in the third, and this could come down to last shot wins. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Canucks continue to lead in this third period, but the question is for how long, James? I mean, this has been a back-and-forth, action-packed game of offense. I don't know. I wouldn't like to play in this game because I was all defense, and there's none of it tonight. Puck knock loose after that hit. The Canucks take over on possession. Slides it diagonally to Heronic. And that pass attempt is deflected. Connors picking up steam. And he takes the pass. Heronic got it against the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of time left in this period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Vancouver's won the draw and they'll go to work. Great poke check on the reach. Niederreiter's going to play it against the half wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Suter's swooping in on the attack. Comes up with the stop. Scores! Well, the goaltender's going to want to have that one back. He put it in himself. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. The Canucks are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. That's a solid hit. Picked up along the wall by Ayafalo. Right in the low slot. And now it's grabbed by Zadorov. Vancouver's crossed the line and on the attack. Puck moved over to Ayafalo. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Here's a chance. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. And it's kicked away. Niederreiter's going to play it from the back of the cage. And he takes the dish. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. With the steal. Big time save by Demko. Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a book on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. Takes the feed. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Perfetti's got it in the offensive zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. And now he moves it to Perfetti. He might have a step here. All alone. Stones him on the breakaway. Pinned up along the boards. And he's... 
slides it quickly to DeMello. Blocked in traffic. Puck grabbed by Di Giuseppe. Gains the zone. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. Centering pass in front. Another pass. And a new pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Winds up, lets it go. Uh-uh. Nice block. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Joshua's moving it ahead. Moves around along the half wall. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Canucks are having themselves a night. They probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Yeah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Taken by Hironic. Quick pass to Chisholm. And there's the save! Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Good hit on the play. Turns another aside. The Jets looking against the half wall. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Myers. Gain momentum up along the side. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Tries to get it to Barron. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Tried to get 2-Q with it and loses possession. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Winnipeg's won the draw. Moves the puck. Shot! Good save! Quick reflexes! It's been a head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who had the better performance? Demko's the obvious choice for me, guys. He hasn't given up as many goals and has given his team a chance to win this game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Great use of the stick at center by Pionk. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. And the puck skips away after that move. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Takes the pass. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. And the save. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Handles the puck. On the attack along the boards. Scores! Kyle Connor doing what he does best. Exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Jets are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Winnipeg's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Jets are running out of time to even things up here. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they trail late in the third. Winnipeg's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Rips it off in. He scores! to the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. 
Well, this is just a fabulous shot, James. And the goaltender, he was flashing the leather. Everyone knows that he's got a quick glove. Wasn't quick enough this time. The Jets haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. they got to find a way to get some chances. Locks them. Ehlers has the puck against the half wall. And he's got the answer for that one. Vancouver's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Winnipeg's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Mateus taking it from his own end. Puck set in and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Moves it over to Ayafalo.